Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I am going to show you how users can migrate to an Amazon Relational Database Service or an Amazon Aurora MySQL Compatible Edition Database using AWS Database Migration Service. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Database Migration Service Console. Then choose Replication Instances in the navigation bar on the left. Choose the button Create Replication Instance. On this page, we will enter the required details such as replication instance name, version, instance class, VPC cloud, storage, and availability zone preference. From the advanced security and network configuration, choose VPC security groups, replication subnet group, and AWS key management service key to use if any. Choose create. This creates the AWS TMS replication instance. Next, let's create source and target endpoints in the AWS TMS console. Open DMS console again and select endpoints from navigation bar on the left. Choose the create endpoint button. On this page, select the endpoint type, that is source, and fill in the information for the same endpoint, such as server name, port, SSL mode, to name a few. Choose Run Test button. When the test is successful, choose Create Endpoint button. Next, repeat the above steps, but this time for endpoint type target, which will be Amazon Relational Database Service MySQL instance that we migrate to. After we create the source and target endpoints, we are now ready to create the AWS DMS task for migration. Open the AWS DMS console again and select Database Migration Tasks from the navigation bar on the left. Choose the Create Task button. Enter the details on this page, such as task identifier or name, replication instance, source and target endpoints, along with the migration type. Migrate existing data Use this migration type for one-time migration. Migrate existing data and replicate ongoing changes. Use this to migrate large databases with minimal downtime. Replicate data changes only. Use this migration type when you have already migrated the existing data and want to synchronize the ongoing changes. In the task settings section, update the fields as required. In the table mapping section, mention the schema and tables under selection rules that you want to migrate from, along with any transformation rules that you want to apply while migrating on target. Choose Create Task. After you have set up the source and target databases to meet prerequisites for using AWS DMS, select the task, choose Actions, then restart or resume option. After the task is up and running, we can monitor the same using AWS DMS console and Amazon CloudWatch logs. Let's see how to do this. Choose the AWS DMS task that we just created. There, we can see the full load progress percentage. Then in the table statistics tab, we can see which tables have migrated successfully and the ones that are left. In the CloudWatch logs, we can see the error messages if the task fails or if it runs with errors. In the logs, I stands for informational messages, W for warnings, and E for errors. So now you know how to migrate to an Amazon RDS or Aurora MySQL compatible database instance using AWS DMS from any source database. You have learned how to create an AWS DMS replication instance, source and target endpoints, and created the AWS DMS task. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>